Blessed dear friends and believers, and you are truly blessing me with your responses and your opinions and your belief and your prayers and your donations. I will never be able to thank you enough. Thank you and bless you in the name of Messiah Yeshua, our blessed Savior, our blessed hope. Amen. Well, dear friends, we had a great response to a very curious video that we made. And I got to give credit to Daniel Potts for he did an immense amount of work on it. And God bless him for it. In our research, we wanted to create a video that would let us know what the public thinks about the Ark of the Covenant and where is it? And will it go back to the temple before Messiah returns? Or will the Messiah actually bring the Ark of the Covenant to the temple? Because we know from biblical verse that there is a Ark of the Covenant in heaven. Read it in Revelation. Now, these are verses I want you to consider that are very critical. And we had one response to the video where the gentleman quoted, and I don't have permission to give his name, but he quoted Jeremiah, and it's very important that he quoted Jeremiah. But here's some verses I want you to seriously look at. First of all, the movie, The Raiders of the Lost Ark with Harrison Ford, who I've seen, it's been a while since I've seen that movie or the credits. But, and I don't know if they included this in the credits or not, but where they got the idea about the Pharaoh, Shishak, etc., is from 2 Chronicles 12, verse 9. But I would suggest that you read that whole chapter of 2 Chronicles 12, 9 and realize that the king of Israel at that time that they're talking about is the son of Solomon. Now, also, I would want you to consider some verses from 2 Maccabees chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. Remember, we are a ministry that not only studies the scriptures and all the lost books of the scriptures, which there have been explained by many PhDs that there have been a hundred plus books I've read as many as 104 books that were taken out of the scriptures at the time of our Messiah that would have been steadied by all who were believers in the one true Father God Almighty in Hebrew, Yahovah, in English, Jehovah. Or in the Psalms, it says his name, even in the King James, Y-A-H, Yah which, of course, we get the derivative name because God became a man, Yahu saves, Yahushua. Steady these verses, 2 Maccabees chapter 2, verse 4 and 5, Matthew 25, verse 15, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 4, Revelations chapter 11, verse 1 and 2, and Isaiah 18, and Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 10, Second Chronicles 35, verse 3, Second Kings 21, 16, chapter 24, verses 3, and four, Yeremehu in Hebrew, Jeremiah in English, chapter 2, verse 30, Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 37, 2 Kings, 
21, 9 through 16. So that's chapter 21, verses 9 through 16. 2 Kings 23, verse 31. 2 Chronicles 36, verses 1 through 4. Jeremiah 46, verse 2. Uh, I'm sorry. Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 2. That's correct. 2 Kings chapter 24, verse 7, 8. This is the very important verses that we need to study. Now, I'm going to cut this particular broadcast a little bit short. But let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are in search of the truth. Your holy Messiah, you on earth promised us that you would send the Holy Spirit, the absolute pure voice of truth to be our helper. Help us to know and understand factually, historically, where the Ark of the Covenant is and is the theory that Messiah will bring back from heaven the Ark of the Covenant into the temple when he rules and reigns on earth? Or is it factual that the Ark of the Covenant will be found and put into the third temple? These are questions we want factual and historical answers for. And you promise us in Matthew 7, 7, 8, Ask and you shall receive. We ask in the name and blood of the true Messiah, Yahushua. People in modern day times call him Jesus Christ. We ask in his blood and name. Amen. Well, until we meet again, and obviously I'm going to be doing another broadcast about these verses and how factual this puzzle of verses leads us to the factual and historical residence of the Ark of the Covenant. Till we meet again, this is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry. God bless you all, and I mean that truly. I absolutely mean that truly. I send you my love. I send you blessing. Be safe, be protected, and keep praying and confessing for the kingdom of the Father God draws near. We are in the very late stages of birth pains described in Matthew. You need to read Matthew 23, 24, 25. We have to stay reborn so that we can be raptured from the horrible trials and tribulations that are coming. Thank you, Father, for your blessed, blessed understanding of us, your servants. Amen.